More than 200 Afghan women at Fort McCoy are pregnant. That's one of the things we learned during the media's first tour of the Wisconsin Army Post. It is a first inside glimpse into their life for nearly the 13,000 Afghans that are living there right now. Our Jason Kelby tells us what else we learned. Jason? Well, we learned there's not much for them to do at that Army post. One of the things they're doing is working on their immigration paper, getting medical screenings, and receiving some of the donations. Look at these, these donations piling up here in Greenfield. They're also working with resettlement organizations to find their new homes in the United States. Some 400 are expected to stay in Wisconsin now. They've had their challenges, too. Two Afghans at Fort McCoy were charged, one with assaulting his wife, the other with engaging in sexual acts with minors. Time for playing, time for learning. Some of the teachers were Afghan university professors. These are changing colors. And here at their new temporary home. Uh, the clothing distribution center is the last stop. A time to find clothes. They're given about 30 minutes to choose items uh, for both themselves and their children. About 90% of the nearly 13,000 Afghans have had a turn. And they're now better prepared for the harsh climate to come. More than 330,000 items brought here to Fort McCoy. So on the left hand side is uh, all the women's clothing and on the right hand side is like the toddlers and you saw the infant's clothing was uh, over there. And the soldiers will help them get their sizes and everything that they need. Each person gets roughly 10 to 15 items. Local donations through the American Red Cross and the Salvation Army, in addition to Team Rubicon, as you've seen, and the Sparta Armory, have been inspiring and an indication of the amazing generosity of the residents of our region. Since so many of the Afghans escaped the Taliban with just the clothes on their backs. While the U.S. Army previously shared their own videos and photos, they invited a small and select number of media to take a tour. And speaking of all of those nations, look what's piling up here in Greenfield. They're accept, expect, accepting donations here at the Milwaukee Muslim Women's Coalition every weekday from 10 to 6. And I want to say that that trip, that tour at Fort McCoy, it was not all access. The U.S. Army had a say and dictated where the media were allowed to go and who they were able to talk with. Reporting live in Greenfield, Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News. An interesting look, though, inside of life there at Fort McCoy. Jason, thank you for that.